Hi, it's Linda. Tomorrow is Super Bowl and you probably already have your recipes and everything all planned or pick up food, you know, whatever you're going to take to a Super Bowl party. I already uh, told friends of ours that I'm going to bring a shrimp platter with just some Trader Joe's uh, shrimp cocktail sauce that is like zero to one points and super simple for tomorrow. But I really kind of wanted to do some uh, chicken because um, uh, it's just that time of year. So I'm We'll probably have this maybe for dinner. If I have some left over, we'll take tomorrow. So I'm going to make um, a Weight Watcher Friendly or WW Friendly, uh, not chicken nuggets, not quite ch strips, a little bit smaller strips. So I'm calling them uh, chicken mini fingers. I have to remember what I call them. I'm trying to describe them sometimes, not the easiest. And I'm going to um, uh, first cook them and then have different sauces that I have. Uh, that I've got from Walmart that are really good that are zero to one point and then I'm going to make a, um, a buffalo wing sauce uh, so I'm going to have a little bit of variety of stuff and we may have it for dinner or I may take it over to our party tomorrow also uh, before I get started just wanted to say that um, you know I have my own website now called amusinghealthyrecipes.com and I've had so many people that have just supported me on this journey in the last six, seven months from starting up a YouTube channel now to doing all of this. So since I'm retired, I'm going gung-ho on all of it, but I got a little hat. And I'm not a hat person on screen because when I put it on and I was trying this out, the um, shadows were really bad on my face. Not the best uh, you know, look, but just had to show it to you. And uh, I will wear this other places, just not while I'm doing a video. And I also have little business cards now that say amusing, healthy recipes. I know you can't read it because it's small print. But I'm just so excited and you guys encouraged me to do all of this. And I want to thank you. This is the best retirement hobby I could have ever asked for by staying healthy, helping others to be healthy and uh, it just enjoying every day that God has given me. I'm going to take off this hat. Probably got some hat hair going on, but I'm going to go over this real quick with you. Uh, what we're going to do is um, actually I'm going to take, because I want to do different varieties, five chicken breasts and uh, Greek yogurt, some spices, which I'll go over, uh, you know, with your garlic powder, onion powder, and some cayenne uh, pepper, salt and pepper, and an egg. Um, you can use whatever spices you like. This is just to add a little bit of flavor and then we'll add the sauces with more spice after the chicken's done. All of my chicken breasts I buy, because I do so much chicken, I buy frozen. So when I went to do this, I had to pull them out of the freezer. So I put them in my Instant Pot. For the first ones, I took two of them, put them in my Instant Pot for three minutes and it cooked them almost all the way through. I only put a little bit of water because it's uh, they're frozen, so it's going to have the water from that. And it cooked them almost all the way. And then I realized, you know what? I want to do different sauces, so I'm going to cook three more. So I put three more in my Instant Pot and cooked them for only one minute, so they're just partially done. And if you want to buy fresh chicken breast, that's good. Just cook them longer. So you adjust your cooking time. I'm going to use my Instant Pot. Uh, air fryer oven. You can use a regular oven. It's just this crisp, crisps up everything so good and without the extra points for it. And uh, so I'm going to get started here in just a minute. Okay, here's two of the chicken breasts. Let me put this side um, that I cut up into like little mini fingers that I cooked three minutes in the Insta Pot. And uh, like I said, they're almost done. You can see a tiny little bit of pink. I really didn't want them all the way done, but it's okay because I'm cooking them in the air fryer to brown them up. And let me move this all aside. I have three chicken breasts or frozen. Actually, it looks like two and a half or one broke off of this one. Um, here, so probably I would say they're all together for this recipe, four to five chicken breasts. I cook these in the Instant Pot set it for one minute on manual and then I did a quick release because I didn't want them all the way cooked I just wanted them thawed and it thawed them and it cooked them a little bit but they're nice and tender 
so I just wanted to show you that just so you, you'll know other things you can use your Instant Pot for. Another thing is um, I always like little gadgets and I came across this really cool little book off of Amazon and it's the Instant Pressure Cooker Times Cook Times and Liquids. It has little tabs here at the bottom. It tells you you can just do a quick reference and it'll tell you it even has like eggs or what I had before that's on here. If you can see this or not, I have one here that's a magnetic, but it's so hard to read. I have to get a magnifying glass out. This has a big magnet on the back. You can stick it on my side of my refrigerator, or you can have a little hook here. You can hang it, and then when I want to use it, I can just pull it off and look up whatever I want. It's going to tell me what's the right time for uh, cooking everything, even boiled eggs. I also uh, got one for the air fryer. It's not my air fryer, but uh, it's okay because it gives you cooking times. Same thing, it's got all these tabs. And uh, it has some little shortcuts too in here, which I think is really cool. One of the shortcuts that I like on the pressure cooker, it said to get it uh, Instant Pot, to get it uh, he heated up faster, is put it to your saute first. And while you're adding your ingredients, just put on saute because that heats up the element, heats up the pot real fast. And then when you get ready to set the time and the, and the cooking um, you know, of pressure, then you just hit cancel, put the lid on, set the pressure and everything, and it brings it up to steam faster. I tried it and it worked great. So I wanted to share those little tips. Like I said, I got them, little tips from these books. These are great. If you're interested, I will post a link on the recipe. You will, you can find my recipes now too. Other people have wanted to print them and I've been researching and um, I have a website so I talked to GoDaddy, they told me how to do it. So if you go to my website, which I will post this in the video where my website is, it will take you right to a little uh, click on link that you can click on and every one of my recipes is in a PDF that you can print out and you can set on your counter and use. And then if you're like me, I have to go back to my videos. So sometimes I'll look, how did I make that? So it's a good thing I have them. Hope this helps you. Now I'm going to get started. Okay, I'm going to start the coating. I'm going to take a half a cup of Greek yogurt, of the plain, non-fat Greek yogurt. Make sure you scan it and that it's zero points. This just helps um, add a little moisture and some flavor. So around a half a cup, a little more, zero points. Doesn't really matter. That's kind of what I'm using. So I'm going to put that in there. Put this aside. Okay, I'm going to scramble up an egg here. Let me put my chicken aside here. Lightly scramble my egg up. Whisk this just a little bit. I'm going to put it in with the Greek yogurt it in a little bit. Now I'm going to add some spices. I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of all of these spices. So this one here is cayenne pepper. You know, I forget you can open this thing. Oh, sorry, this is my door. Oh, you do have to open it this way. Okay, keeping it real, keeping it real. Okay, a half a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. And then I'm going to do a half a teaspoon of onion powder. You don't have to use this. I just like it, so I'm going to use it. Get creative. Put whatever you want in it. This is just going to kind of flavor the chicken when it goes into the Instant Pot air fryer. And a half a teaspoon of garlic powder. And then a half a teaspoon of black pepper. If you don't like to see the black pepper in there, you can use white pepper. And then one teaspoon of salt. I'm going to mix this all together and then I'm going to add the chicken. Okay, this is five, um, four to five chicken breasts cut up. Some of them are more like nuggets, some of them are more like strips. Just fine. They're going to be finger foods. So, whatever, however you like to cut them up. 
Then I put them all in here and I washed my hands real good. Just so you know, if you see me touching the chicken, I wash my hands, which is real important. You should do that. I'm from Oklahoma. I'm used to using my fingers. Using tongs is good for some things, but I have to get my fingers in. So saying that, I just uh, got to washing it. Then I'm gonna take my fingers and just mix, lightly mix all this chicken in with the sauce here. A little creamy sauce. This helps keep it moist. So I'm gonna wipe my fingers off, and I'm gonna go wash my fingers, and then I'm gonna put this on a baking tray. Okay, now I'm going to spray my racks with the Instant Pot uh, air fryer, and I used to have the air fryer, power air fryer oven, which was very similar. I like it because you have these racks, and so I'll do one rack, and then I'll do the other one, and I'll put both of them in, and then I'll switch them around to brown them if I'm trying to cook them all. But uh, anyway, so this is what I do. I, I'll, put, I'll start with one and see how it works. I may just rotate them, and uh, you want to take put uh, put a paper towel down. Take your rack. If you're using a regular instant, a regular air fryer, then just spray your um, you know the inside of your basket with a little bit of uh, cooking spray. It helps keep it from sticking and clean it so much easier. And now I'm gonna take some of the chicken strips and I'm gonna put, line them up here on the, on the tray. I'm gonna put it in my Instant Pot air fryer oven at 365 for about three to five minutes. I think I'll check on them after about three minutes, turn them over and then let them cook again because they're almost cooked from being cooked in the uh, pressure cooker, the Instant Pot pressure cooker. So if you're doing this from raw, you know, uh, thawed breasts, chicken breasts, you could even do um, turkey breasts. I'm saying this for my sister because my brother-in-law doesn't like chicken. And so she takes a lot of my recipes and use, uses turkey breasts. This would work also for that. But anyway, so you'll just want to adjust the time and watch the time. If you don't have one of these, you can put them in the oven. I would raise the temperature probably up a little bit and uh, you might want to research that a little bit and see how, how to cook it. But this is so, so good. I love this. Okay, I'm going to fast forward through the rest. Okay, here's the first tray. Um, I put it in the Instant Pot air fryer oven for about five minutes. I changed it to 375, and so it's nice and toasty on this side. I had another tray on the second rack, and so I now moved it to the top rack and put it on for like six minutes. While I flip these over, then this will go back in for like three to five more minutes, just so they get browned on the top. Also, I'm going to spray a little bit of uh, Pam on top of them, some butter Pam, uh, to keep them moist and flavorful. Okay, the first batch, uh, first tray is done. It looks like they're about 17 or 18, between the, calling them chicken fingers or little mini chicken fingers or chicken nuggets. I got all different kinds here, but that's okay. They're all appetizers, they're all gonna taste good. I'm gonna make the hot sauce. You can buy hot sauce, because I have, for the next batch, I'm using these dipping sauces, uh, which I'll explain to you in a minute. I get these from Walmart, so it makes it really easy, and they're zero to one points. But the hot sauce, I didn't have any on hand, so I looked up a few recipes and tweaked it like I always do, and come up with my own. So, um, well, first I'm gonna take some Greek yogurt, and I'm gonna take one eighth of a cup. Uh, in a lot of your uh, buffalo sauce, it calls for like a stick of butter. And so, um, it's just to give it some creaminess, and I'm not making a big amount, so I'm just going to um, use Greek yogurt, and I'm gonna use about, oh, eighth of a cup. <clears throat> Excuse me, if I need more, I'll just add more. I'll put it in the recipe. Like I say, all my recipes can be found now on my website, which I will post also on, on the YouTube. And then I'm gonna add, this is some hot sauce, and this is the Red Hot, Frank's Red Hot. So I'm gonna put a quarter of a cup of this in here. Just 
smells so good here in my house. I'm hungry, haven't had lunch. What's nice about the Instant Pot and the air fryer is while they're cooking, I was cleaning and I got my dishes all done from this morning and from all of this that I was working on. Now all I have to do is what's left. And um, okay, now I'm gonna add, um, I got the Greek yogurt and I've got the red sauce and I'm gonna add a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of paprika. You know, there's already salt in that, so I don't wanna to put too much salt. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do like a half like a half a teaspoon of salt. I'm gonna add like a half a teaspoon of pepper. And then the paprika. I'm gonna add a teaspoon of that. Actually, these are a half a teaspoon, so. Thought I'd grab the other, but that's okay. It's doable. Now I'm gonna mix this all together. And um, I'll try it and let you know if I need to adjust it any before I put the chicken in with it. Ooh, wow, it's got a big kick to it. I love it. I'm gonna put this chicken in here. Um, if the chicken wasn't hot, you could put this in like in a plastic Ziploc bag to coat it, but this chicken's hot, so I don't think that would be a good idea. So I'm gonna put all these pieces in and coat it, and then this is gonna go back in the air fryer oven for like a minute or so on each side just to bake in the flavors of the buffalo sauce. Okay, just a quick note. Anytime I have anything that's real saucy, I try to use these little uh, perforated uh, parchment paper rounds. I'll try to see if I can find them on Amazon again. I think they're made for rice baskets or something like that. But they help with letting the air through without having such a mess dripping down on the bottom tray. So I'm going to fast forward and put these on the tray and be right back. Okay, I'm wrapping it all up now. Uh, this plate here has the buffalo spicy, very spicy nuggets. Uh, next time, I think on the recipe, I will cut the hot sauce down by half. So I'm gonna do that on the recipe I post because also I had quite a bit of it left over. So if you wanted to do a double, maybe it would be okay. But I think it was, even though I like spicy, it is super hot. And then I've got a little bit of ranch dressing here because you're gonna need it with that. Uh, the other uh, chicken nuggets fingers, I'm going to dip with, these are really great. I get these from Walmart. It's G. Hughes sugar-free dipping sauce. This one's the honey mustard. And the honey mustard one is um, only one point for two tablespoons. Or you can do the, uh, the sugar-free teriyaki that he has. Up to three tablespoons is zero. So I'm gonna do part of it mix it with a little bit of that and put some extra sauce in some little cups in case uh, my husband wants to dip a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna be dipping the little nuggets just so it glazes over a little bit on them. Um, this little measuring cup is four tablespoons just so you know, so we'll be able to figure out the points. Okay, doing the demonstration, these kind of got a little cold. And so I suggest maybe don't cook them quite as long so you can then, uh, put the, just kind of lightly glaze them with uh, the sugar-free honey mustard, like this, this one. I'm gonna put it back in the air fryer for like one minute just to warm them up so they'll be nice and hot. Okay, these just came out after I put the teriyaki on it. And um, anyway, so um, I'm gonna get ready to put them on a plate now. Okay, they're all done and um, you know, if you're going to make them for a party, you might want to make more. It depends upon your size of party. But all of this, this is the buffalo ones. This one's the teriyaki. And this one is the honey mustard. 
all of this together. These, this one here is only zero, except for any ranch dressing. You want to count the points. The teriyaki ones are zero uh, because I used uh, three tablespoons of the teriyaki sugar-free um, sauce. <laughs> Tar. And then uh, the honey mustard ones, this whole bowl here is only one point because I used three tablespoons of the honey mustard. And um, anyway, it's good too. I've got some extra sauce here on the side just in case my husband wants to dip more. But they're really flavorful like that. What I did uh, in between, if you saw the little videos, I kind of, uh, I took a little brush and coated them with the sauce, stuck them back in the air fryer for like one minute to heat them up and it made it just perfect. They're nice and crunchy, but they're moist inside. And I haven't had lunch yet. My husband's uh, out today with my son, with our son and grandkids uh, on a little fun trip that they're doing. So I think I might even eat all this, who knows? I can, I mean, if I eat all this, it's only like three points. And, uh, but here's another good, uh, yummy and easy recipe. And thank you for following my channel. I really appreciate all the support, all of the comments that you give me, and please share with others. And if you like it, you know, of course, uh, subscribe and hit notifications and you'll be notified when I post recipes. The recipes can be found now if you want to print them on my website. My website will be posted on my uh, YouTube video. Okay, and you have a wonderful day and a happy um, Super Bowl, I guess you might say, I'm not quite sure. Uh, God bless you, bye.